All right, we have more breaking news. We just got word of an appeals court decision regarding Donald Trump that has huge precedent-setting implications for both Trump and the presidency overall. The court ruled that Trump does not have presidential immunity from lawsuits concerning January 6th. CNN Crime and Justice reporter, senior Crime and Justice reporter, Caitlin Polance is with us, as well as CNN senior legal analyst, Ellie Honing. Caitlin, first, tell us about the case here. This case, we've been waiting for this decision for a year, and it has an impact on every lawsuit that people have brought to sue Donald Trump to hold him accountable for what happened on January 6th. The riots at the Capitol building, Capitol Police officers had sued Democratic members of Congress, and Donald Trump had said in court, everything that I did while I was president should be immune. You can't sue me over that. That was his argument, and an appeals court, the federal appeals court in Washington, D.C., said today, no, that is not the case. These lawsuits against Donald Trump can go forward. I want to read some of the things that the court wrote. They wrote that the president does not spend every minute of every day exercising official responsibilities. And when he acts outside the functions of his office, he does not continue to enjoy immunity. So they're drawing a line saying that there are things that you can do while you're president that can be held accountable in court. That is a major decision, a major evolution of what the law is. The other thing that this uh, three judge panel in the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals is writing is that they are saying that there are campaign actions and there are president actions, presidency actions. And what is what the president does while he is campaigning for reelection, including that rally on January 6th, that can be considered a campaign action. And that is something that you can move forward with lawsuits against. There are things that a president does as president that you can't sue over, that he does enjoy immunity over, but not in this situation. Now, Donald Trump is still going to be able to contest the facts of this case and whether uh, these people are able to get some sort of compensation or win in this case. But at this stage, this is a very consequential ruling. It affects not just these lawsuits, but we finally have an appeals court weighing in on the parameters of the presidency and where uh, a president is protected and where he is not under the law very well could be something that the same appeals court is asked to look at in the coming weeks uh, related to Donald Trump's criminal case. And of course, this is the sort of decision that is very likely to go to the Supreme Court as well if Donald Trump wants to take it there. Caitlin, stay with us for just a second. I want to go to Ellie Honig now. Uh, Caitlin just laid out why this is so significant. There is this thing that we have here in America. No one is above the law. A lot of people think of that in the criminal sense. But this court, and correct me if I'm wrong, is saying this is also applicable in the civil sense with civil lawsuits and the president cannot get away with, can be sued uh, by anyone if it's not a part of his capacity as president. Is that how you read this, Ellie? Right, Sarah. So this is an enormously consequential decision, and let me explain why. When it comes to this notion of immunity, there are some things we do know and some things we do not know. Here's what we do know. A federal official, the president on down, cannot be sued civilly if the conduct has something to do with their actual job, if it has something to do with the president acting as president, something to do with a federal prosecutor like I once was acting as a federal prosecutor. But if it's outside of the official job, then yes, you can be sued. And what the Court of Appeals has said here is because what Donald Trump did in and around January 6th was outside the scope of the presidency, yes, he can be sued. Now, here's the bigger issue that Caitlin was referencing. Donald Trump is currently making a similar argument with respect to the criminal charges pending against him in Washington, D.C., relating to the 2020 election, and he probably will make similar arguments elsewhere. We do not yet know, but we may find out, whether there is such thing as criminal immunity for a federal official like the president. But this is a really important decision because even if there is such thing as criminal immunity, now we have a court of appeals saying even if criminal immunity exists, it wouldn't apply to Donald Trump because what he did relating to January 6th was outside the scope of his official job as president. So big ruling because Donald Trump can now be sued civilly. And it also, I think, gives us some insight into what could happen in this argument in the criminal context, too. Is this also 